welcome to my seated Pilates class. Today for class you are going to need a resistance band. Now if you don't have a resistance band you could use a pair of tights, they make a great resistance band, or a tie would also do the job. You're also going to need a cushion or something soft that you can just hold between your legs which is going to help you with your alignment more, more than anything but we are going to do some exercises with it as well. So just something soft that you feel quite happy just holding between your legs. So what I want you to do is go ahead and put that soft squishy object between your legs, holding it there and then just thinking about the way you're sitting. So thinking about sitting up nice and tall, growing through the top of your head, lifting your chin up, thinking about those sit bones sitting nice and equally on that chair. Try not to lean back into the chair, try and sit up nice and tall for me on those sit bones and then just take a little squeeze on that pillow or ball or whatever is behind between your legs and then just release and we're going to do that five times so we're just going to squeeze and release and squeeze and release and three more squeeze and release two more squeeze and release and final one squeeze and release okay now we're going to start to warm up through our arms, so we're going to bring both arms up in front, bring those arms out to the side, feel that lovely stretch across your back, come back to the middle, and then we're going to go out again, we're going to go out another three times, I want you to keep thinking about that core connection, so pulling your belly button towards your spine, keep pulling your ribs down towards your hips, and we're just opening up through that chest, and final one, bringing your arms down by your sides and then just going to take your shoulders up to your ears and bring them back down again up to your ears and bring them back down again three more like this up to your ears bring them back down again up to your ears and bring them back down again and again up to your ears bring them back down again then bring both arms up in front we're going to make a little circle and then we're going to start to make that circle bigger and bigger and then really big and then we're going to reverse it so now we're making that circle in the other direction now if you want to to add in a little bit more you can just squeeze onto that cushion that's between your legs hold it in place so you're holding your lower body in place as well making that circle smaller and smaller and smaller until it's really tiny and it's gone okay then just putting your hands on top of your legs and then I want you to think about just turning to your left and back to the middle and turning to your right and back to the middle. So think about your chin staying in line with your chest, the movement is coming through your mid spine, so through that thoracic spine. Keep thinking belly button to spine, keep that core engaged, pelvic floor on, chin stays in line with your chest. Then we're going to bring our arms back up in front. Then we're going to row. So from here, we're just going to bring one arm back, turn to the side, come back to the middle, and the other one, turn to the side, come back to the middle. Keep that pressure on that cushion. Keep thinking belly button to spine. Try and sit up nice and tall. Grow out of that chair. Think about the weight staying nice and even on your sit bones. And we're going to do one more to each side like this. And final one to each side. And then bringing those arms down by your sides. Okay, finding the ends of your band. So looping your band beneath your chair and then bringing your band up into your hand. So palms facing up to the ceiling. Take in as much resistance as you want. You can have it as easy or as difficult as you wish, bring your arms down by your side and then you're just going to bring one arm up, just feel that tiny bit of resistance and down and up and down. If you want to make the resistance more you can do, so just slide your hands down the band and then bring it up. So you're resisting against your other hand and the bottom of the chair. And we're going to do three more on each side like this. Belly button to spine, keep that core engaged. If you didn't have a band, you could also use 
just some little cans as a weight if you wanted to or you could just do it without it and just bring that arm in and bring it back down so we're just working through that bicep and we're going to do one more on each side and then come back down. Then I want you to take hold of the back of your chair, bring your left arm up and over, push your hand into the back of your chair and really stretch out through that side. Then think about your fingers creating a rainbow, bringing your hand back down behind the chair, push on the back of the chair with that hand and bring your other arm up and over, stretch out through those fingers, create another rainbow, bring that arm back and the other side. We're going to do two more to each side like this, push on the back of the chair as well as bringing your arm up and over. Think about that cushion between your knees, keep squeezing onto that cushion. So you're thinking about using those legs at the same time as using those arms. And coming back down. Okay, then from here, you're going to bring both arms out in front, you're going to get one hand behind your hand and just pull your fingers back. So just moving through that wrist and then push your fingers down. So it's a really little movement, don't overdo it. You're just working through that wrist, pushing your fingers up and then pushing them back. Up and back. And up and back. And up and back. And we're going to do three more. hold of your band, bringing your band above your head. Now you can add in some resistance if you want to, if not you can just hold it loosely, it doesn't make too much difference. And then from here we're going to think about our roll down. So we're going to just bring our chins to our chest, think about rolling down through the crown of your head, keeping your arms coming down too, and you're just going to roll yourself down to where you feel able to hold it here. And then think about restacking those vertebrae, nice, slow, controlled roll back to the top. And we're going to do four more like this, so inhaling at the top, nice big lungfuls of air, then exhale, bringing yourself back down, arms come back down at the same time, slowly rolling yourself back down just to where you can hold it, then inhale, exhale, re-stack those vertebrae and bring your arms back over your head, sitting up nice and tall, inhale, exhale. So if having your arms up is starting to get a bit too much, you could just bring your arms down and just put your palms resting gently on your knees, rolling down and then re-stacking those vertebrae one at a time. Keep pushing into that ball or cushion. Okay, final time, inhaling here. Exhale, tuck that chin, think lead with the crown of your head. Slowly rolling down one vertebrae at a time. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, bring yourself back up to sitting. Okay, super. Okay, so next we're going to bring our arms up and we're going to bring our hands behind our heads. You can either interlace your fingers or just hold one hand over the other. And then you're just going to think about bending yourself back. Let the chair support you and just take it to where you can. Now I want you to focus on your ribs. Think about your ribs being pulled down towards your hips so you're keeping that core engaged. And then from there you're just going to slowly roll yourself back up, sitting up nice and tall and then we're going to go back again. So just bending backwards, keep thinking belly button to spine, keep pushing on that cushion. Hold it where you can, inhale and exhale, bring yourself back up to sitting. Now we're going to go side to side, so make sure you're not pushing your neck forward, keep pushing your head backwards into your hands and you're just going to go to the side. Come back to the middle and the other side. Back to the middle. Final 
final one to each side here and back to the middle and the other side and back to the middle and bring your arms back down okay from here we're going to start thinking about our feet so we're going to bring our legs out in front you can just keep one heel on the floor and you're going to lift the other leg up and then you're going to point and flex point and flex you can keep squeezing on the ball if you want to or if that's a little bit challenging just take the ball out you could do a little bit of compression with those hands into the ball instead if you like and just flex and point and then bring that leg down bring the other one up flex and point and flex and point you can push into the ball as well if you like or into your cushion so you're just getting a little bit of an isometric stretch there as well and flex and point and flex and point then bring your legs back underneath you I want you to think about going onto the ball of one foot and then you're going to push down really hard on that foot or as hard as you can and then just hold it there so we're just pushing into the ball of that foot then come back and the other foot so lifting up pushing into the ball of your foot holding it there and then release and again push into the ball of your foot and release back and again push into the ball of your other foot and then release it back down okay then bringing the ball or the cushion on top of your lap I just want you to think about pushing down with it on with your hands so you're just pushing down and then releasing pushing down and releasing so it can be either onto a big cushion or if you don't have a cushion or a ball today you could even just do it onto the top of your legs just pushing your hands down and then releasing so we're just getting a little bit of movement through that side of your body through your shoulders Okay, now we're going to move on to legs. So taking the ball or cushion and placing it on the floor, you're going to get your band or tights and you're going to hook it around the foot. Make sure it's round like your whole foot and more towards the back of your foot, towards your heel and not just on your toes. So you've got your whole foot in the band. Then from there, you're going to bring your leg in. Hold the band in both hands. So it's a little bit like reins and then you're just going to take that leg forward. And back. I'm going to do six of these, taking it forward and back. Keep thinking about sitting up nice and tall, keep thinking belly button to spine, keep that core engaged, pelvic floor on, and you're almost just hovering your foot above the floor, taking it out and bringing it back in, taking it out and bringing it back in. Keep thinking belly button to spine, keep that core engaged, pelvic floor on. And final one, and bring that leg in. Okay, keeping the band on that foot, from here you're just going to slide that leg out to the side. Just move within the range of movement that you've got, so just taking it out to the side. It might be that you can just take that foot out as a step instead, hold the band, use the band to help you. So you're either stepping in and out, or you can slide that leg out to the side so just work within the range of movement that you feel comfortable working keep your sit bones glued to the seat so don't let them move off the seat we're going to do two more and final one and then bring that leg back in well done good job okay laying the band out put your other foot in the band and then we're going to do the same thing on this leg so you're just going to take that leg out and then bring it back in. So you're just using the resistance of the band or your pair of tights to just create a little bit of resistance for you to push against. If this is a little bit too much, you could take the resistance band away and just do it without the band. Keep taking belly back to the spine, keep that core engaged. We're going to do two more like this. And then final one. 
and then we're going to start taking that leg out to the side. So either extending up and out or just stepping to the side, whatever is better for your body. Keep taking belly button to spine, keep that core engaged, sitting up nice and tall, either stepping out to the side or just moving that leg out to the side, whatever works. going to go back to looking at our arms and give our legs a rest. So you're going to loop the band back underneath your chair, holding onto your band. Again, you can create and control the resistance here. So if you want to work a little bit harder, take some band away. If you need it to be a little bit less, then just take, give yourself some more band. Then from here, we're just going to bring both arms up so that your palms are facing and they're in front of you and you're just going to move one to the ceiling and bring it back and the other to the ceiling and bring it back. And we're going to do four on each side. Keep thinking belly button to spine, keep that core engaged. Pelvic floor stays on. Sit bones stay on the seat. And again, if you wanted to, you can put that ball or cushion back behind your knee, between your knees and just give it a squeeze at the same time. So you're working through your legs as well as your arms. One more on each side like this. And then bringing that band back down. Okay, from here again, giving yourself a little bit of band to play with, we're going to take our arms out to the sides and back to the middle. Out to the sides and back to the middle and out to the sides. So feel like you're trying to pull your arms up higher against the band as you take it out. Feel that nice stretch across your chest. Two more. So from here, we're going to just drop the band. You're going to bring your arms up in front. Think about pushing your elbows and palms together. And you're just going to take your arms up as high as you can without parting your elbows and then bring them in a lovely big circle. Keep pressing on that cushion for me. And we're going to do three more like this. So we're just stretching through that mid back. This is a lovely stretch. And final one. Okay, now we're going back to working our legs and our arms. So we're going to do a crisscross. So to do this, we are going to bring one arm up. You can either keep your fist clenched or you can have your fingers straight out however you want. Then you're going to curl your body round one side. And then you're either going to just lift your heel on the other side you can remove the cushion or ball now or if you want to you can lift that leg out and then bring it back and then come back to sitting then you're going to bring the other arm up and over either lift your ankle or lift your whole foot and come back so you're creating an arc with your body lifting your heel or your whole foot and then coming back lift and come back. We're going to do four more to each side. Just lift and come back and over and lift and come back. Now if you need to just take out the feet and just move your upper body. If you want to you could take your feet out a little bit further and then you haven't got to lift your heel quite so high. If you want to make it a little bit more challenging you could try and lift your leg so it's straighter. Keep thinking belly button to spine, keep that pelvic floor engaged. Think about rolling your body forward and over and not just going over to the side. So think about coming forward in a nice big arc and then you're lifting that opposite ankle or foot off the floor. I'm going to do one more to each side. And final one. Okay, then bringing your feet back so they're underneath you and you feel nice and stable. Thinking about that thoracic spine, we're going to look at spine twist. So you're going to bring your arms up and then we're going to just rotate again 
to one side, come back to the middle, and then the other side, and back to the middle, and the other side, and back to the middle. So again, we're just mobilizing through that mid spine. It's a lovely warm exercise, just getting some mobility into that spine. And one more to each side. bringing your arms down then making sure your feet are far enough forward so you can see them and you're going to bring one leg up and we're going to do pigeon stretch so you're just putting that leg across your other leg make sure it's not on your ankle and then you're just going to push that knee down now you might find that you need to come to the front of your chair to do this and then just push that knee down and hold that stretch there if this is too much for you then just go back to sitting and catch us up in the next exercise. And then bring that leg down and the other leg, bring that leg up and then just pushing down on that knee, holding it there. So if you missed out that one, join us now. Just shuffle your bum forward a little bit so you're sitting more on the edge of your seat. So your sit bones are still nice and firmly attached to the chair. You're not sitting way on the edge. But you've moved forward. There's a bigger space behind you because we're going to do a little bit of a back roll. So from here, you're going to inhale, bring your right arm up and over your body. Now see your left elbow needs to have room to move behind you, especially if you're holding on to your chair. Then from here, you're going to think about that right arm creating a nice, lovely circle forward. Your left arm is going to start to come out to meet it. And we're going to go round the world and we're going to come up to the top. Then from here, we're going to go back. So you're going to create a lovely circle forward. Bring your right hand out to meet it and come back round to the top. Okay, now we're going to go again. So over to the right, stretching yourself round the front. Bring your right arm up and over, hold it, then go back in the direction you've just been in. Keep thinking belly button to spine, keep that core engaged. Okay, then from here, move yourself back into your chair so you feel comfortable. And we're gonna do three big, lovely shoulder rolls. And then three big shoulder rolls in the other direction. And then we're going to leave it there for today. I hope you enjoyed my seated class. Please let me know what you thought. I'd love to hear your feedback and I'll see you at my next one. Take care. Bye.